For 46 years, Voyager 1 has been drifting silently through the black cosmic ocean of space, farther than any other human-made object. Its long journey has now taken it over 14 billion miles from Earth, into a cold darkness that no spacecraft has ever ventured into. The mission of Voyager 1 was simple at the beginning, explore the outer planets, send back pictures, and maybe learn something new. It wasn't meant to survive for decades, but in the starry silence of space, it kept going. In early 2024, deep within NASA's control room, engineers noticed something strange. Voyager 1, which had been quietly sending signals from the void, suddenly stopped making sense. The familiar stream of data had turned to static noise, sounding like whispers in the wind on an abandoned mountain. The spacecraft had gone quiet, its voice garbled and unreadable. Sending signals to Voyager 1 is a long process, requiring a delay of over 42 hours for one round trip of communication across the vast expanse. Each attempt to reach the probe was painfully slow. But finally, after weeks of calculated commands from a glowing console, NASA re-established contact. The relief inside the room was short-lived, however, as what followed was unexpected. Voyager 1, once stable and silent, had picked up an unfamiliar signal, a pulse from deep space that sounded like a digital echo in the emptiness. Scientists paused, unsure if it was real. Was it distortion from interstellar plasma, or something more intentional echoing from the stars? Engineers leaned closer to their screens, trying to make sense of the strange message. This wasn't the first time Voyager had heard something strange. In 2013, it detected tsunami waves from solar storms rippling through the plasma around it, but this new signal was different. It wasn't a wave from the sun. It wasn't anything they'd seen before. The signal had patterns, repeating pulses in a rhythm that filled the control chamber with silence and suspicion. Why hadn't Voyager picked it up before? Had it just crossed into a new region of interstellar space where something waits among the drifting clouds of gas and dust? Was it a cosmic fluke, or did something, or someone, transmit that sound into the interstellar sea hoping someone would hear it? As they examined the frequency, a sense of disbelief hung in the air like fog over a valley. The pattern was consistent, not random, almost as if it were encoded. Could this be a message? If so, who or what was sending it from the shadows of the universe? NASA's team intensified their analysis. Initially, some thought the signal was just a glitch, perhaps a hiccup from the spacecraft's aging systems, floating alone in the black. But the deeper they studied the signal, the more it didn't fit into any known category. The pulses were rhythmic, almost like something alive was tapping from the beyond. This reminded scientists of the WOW signal, a strange radio burst from 1977 heard by a telescope on a quiet night in Ohio. That event still remains unexplained. Now, Voyager 1 had found something equally baffling in the deep darkness, a twin mystery echoing from the other side of time and space. With its batteries slowly dying, scientists knew Voyager 1 had limited years left. Its power was fading, and with it, their chance to understand this signal. NASA raced to clean up the data, hoping to crack the pattern before the spacecraft goes permanently silent like a lantern extinguished in a cave. They use advanced AI, sifting through the transmission for any hint of structure or hidden meaning in the static. Still, the mystery remained unsolved. Then came another surprise. After the signal was first detected, Voyager 1 began transmitting on a slightly altered frequency, something that puzzled even veteran technicians. Was this an innocent drift caused by its age, or did the change mean something was interacting with Voyager from some distant station in space? Some scientists feared the implications. Had something been listening to Voyager? 
had it responded, and was now altering the probe's transmissions. If this was not just chance, then what was waiting out there, hidden among the stars like a lighthouse in a foggy bay? These were the questions echoing through NASA's halls. A fierce debate broke out among scientists around the globe. Some insisted the signal must be a natural anomaly, not an alien transmission. Others pointed out that no known phenomenon produces structured patterns in interstellar space. The signal was too ordered, too deliberate. It didn't resemble pulsars or cosmic background radiation, which flow like continuous rivers. This was different, like messages in the wind. Why had no other spacecraft detected this signal before? Why Voyager, and why now in this distant sector? Skeptics blamed it on deterioration, but Voyager's core systems were still functional enough to send detailed reports from its location. NASA engineers double-checked for faults. Their findings showed no errors in the data, no reason to think this was just a machine's dying breath. If not a malfunction, and not a natural sound, then it leaves one unnerving possibility that it was sent by an intelligence hiding beyond our solar light. Physicist James Benford, an expert in deep space signals, noted that the vacuum of space is ideal for undisturbed broadcasts. It's the perfect arena for a message meant to travel across light years. Could Voyager 1 have entered a region of space saturated with ancient transmissions from a forgotten or active civilization? Or, even more unsettling, did something react to our presence the moment Voyager 1 drifted into their domain? The mystery deepened as another event unfolded. Weeks after the first transmission, NASA's listening stations picked up a burst unlike anything Voyager had ever sent. The signal was fast, chopped, erratic, like shouting through a broken radio in a rainstorm. And then, silence once more settled over the glowing screens. For hours, no signal came. Then suddenly, the transmission resumed, but it was different, a new frequency, one that defied every known rule of Voyager's behavior. It was like watching a flickering lantern in a tunnel suddenly change color. Something had altered the signal. Was it a natural cosmic disturbance, or had an external force deliberately changed how Voyager was allowed to communicate? Scientists whispered in the shadowy labs that maybe Voyager wasn't meant to detect this signal. Maybe it stumbled onto something private, something protected in a hidden region. Did it cross a threshold, unlocking a space where transmissions were flowing from something that didn't want to be seen, yet wanted to be heard? Now the question burned hotter than ever, had Voyager 1 just proved we are not alone? Or had it just accidentally eavesdropped on a conversation never meant for our ears, like a traveler hearing voices through the fog? For nearly 50 years, Voyager has moved through the silent dark like a ghost ship, sailing past planets, radiation belts, and the edge of our solar territory. It has faced the battering wind of cosmic rays, navigated the dark expanse, and now returned with a story we do not yet understand. Why did this signal come now? Why the sudden shift, the new frequency, the structured pulses that ripple like whispers through the cold? Was it a mistake? A warning? An invitation? Or simply the echo of an ancient civilization speaking from its galactic stronghold? Whatever the answer, time is against us. Voyager's power drains each day. The signal may soon vanish like footprints in cosmic sand, leaving only questions behind. The scientific community races against this deadline, decoding every bite with urgency beneath bright monitors, their eyes lit with curiosity and concern. This isn't just about Voyager anymore. It's about the greater reality it may have touched in the endless celestial void. Have we been watched? Or worse, have we been answered by something far older, deeper, and far beyond our imagination?
As the stars wheel overhead in silent patterns, Voyager 1 drifts on, silent again, carrying perhaps the most profound mystery we've ever encountered in the Great Blackless. And whether it was a message, a misfire, or something more, we may never fully know, unless another signal emerges from the distance. Still, the transmission is real. It exists, stored in the archives, playing softly like a lullaby in a void filled with secrets. We wait. We listen. We wonder. For now, Voyager 1 remains our oldest eye on the universe, watching from a place few things ever reach. And the biggest question still haunts the corridors of NASA. Was this an echo from something waiting in the shadows, or a reply from something that's been listening all along? Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.